we have now uh, purchased uh, enough vaccines to serve the whole of uh, Hong Kong population. Uh, we will continue to uh, find a fourth uh, technology so that we can 100% meet our uh, scientific committee's uh, recommendations uh, in um, uh, ensuring that the Hong Kong people will get uh, adequate coverage. This vaccination will still be a non-market behavior. It is still a government vaccination program uh, because it is uh, going to be uh, authorized for use under emergency situation um, as provided for uh, in the regulation made today. The so-called specified purposes basically will be referring to the government vaccination program. In other words, what I said on the last occasion is uh, it will not be readily available in the market for an individual or clinician to buy and then to administer which will then give um, uh, the widest choice. If it is available, all the vaccines are available on the market, then everybody could uh, choose uh, what vaccine to, to use. We would be giving individuals the choice in terms of the timing of receiving the vaccination and also the, the, the site. Where, where, where does this individual want to get the vaccination? And by that, there will be choices because we now have uh, procured three um, different vaccines. So I imagine that uh, once we have rolled out the program, a particular vaccine will be administered in a particular site. For example, a community vaccination center uh, versus a private doctor's uh, clinic versus a hospital setting uh, versus an elderly care home. So uh, if the individual uh, is able to choose, uh, I don't want to go to the vaccination center, I prefer to go to a private doctor's because the private doctor's site will use um, a particular vaccine, then the choice is there. But uh, I don't see how we could offer different types of vaccine in one site. That would be extremely confusing, especially uh, each of the three vaccines we have bought require two doses. So we have to uh, manage uh, the quantity to make sure that uh, if you choose this, we will have a second dose available and ready for you to use. So it has to be done in that way. As far as details of the fund, whether there will be other uh, prerequisites or uh, criteria before um, uh, individuals uh, being affected will be eligible, this will be uh, deliberated and uh, discussed and then presented to the uh, Finance Committee. But based on previous experience, for example, on the AIDS Trust Fund and other similar schemes, uh, one would uh, focus on the effects that this individual has been affected by, by the drug, by the disease, by the virus, rather than to look into other um, circumstances before deciding on offering assistance uh, to the individual. But uh, this is only an illustration. I would suggest that um, the, you have to wait for, uh, for us to present the details about this indemnity uh, fund later on. It is uh, very difficult to set a target. If you ask me, the target is everybody. We want everybody uh, uh, to be vaccinated so that it's not only protecting uh, your oneself, it's protecting your family members, it's also protecting Hong Kong society at large.